What's up, YouTube? Steve at the Whiskey Watch, standing next to my good friend at Scotch and Sniff. There you go. That's the easiest intro I've ever had to do. And today we're going to be talking about not Japanese whiskey. So no, we put these Japanese whiskeys up here, not to clickbait, but basically... But basically to clickbait. But, not to clickbait. So the problem with the Japanese whiskey market right now, as many of you know, is that it's all over the place. Like, it is blown up to a level that's uncomfortable, right? So, unfortunately, because of that, there's been no replacement, and there's not going to be a replacement anytime soon, thanks to the market, because everyone is buying Japanese whiskeys like crazy. So, 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 hear us out. We have found some alternatives to Japanese whiskeys, and we have really good reasons as to why, so that's and what we're going to do today. They're not going to bust your, your bank account. Correct, which is all the Japanese whiskeys do. Like, all of those bottles I have are... Almost three years old, most of them, except for that one hippie key 21. But like, there's just, there has been no supply. And thusly, thanks to demand, it's gone through the roof. So, uh, right off the bat, <clears throat> one of the biggest problems with Japanese whiskeys is a lot of them are blends. And those blends are incredible, but they're not like any other blends that have been done before. And I think that's a huge part of the reason why. Yeah. So, you have Scotch blends, which are one way. Americans don't really do blends per se, although Legent was. Something interesting. You just like talking about that one. It was legend, 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 legend. Anyway, we tangent. So tangent. Um, <laughs> I see. What you're but doing yeah, that. so here we're gonna talk about some whiskeys that are like Japanese whiskeys, and we'll explain why. Because it, it looks. I know you're probably looking at these like there's no way, but here we go. All right. So one of the Oops. more interesting notes that I think are great in Japanese whiskeys that a lot of them have are floral notes. Like, and those floral notes you can find in Scotch whiskeys also. So that's what we're starting with here. This Glenlivet 12, I'm not a giant fan of Glenlivet because it is very soft and floral. You're not, um, you don't like Glenlivet? I like Glenlivet like Najira. For whatever reason, I'm not one of those like, gotta have more ca you know, like cast strength, but like their cast strength offerings are incredible. Yeah. But their typical offerings, the 12, the 15, the 21, um, they just don't do it for me, but the 12 is actually much more like a Japanese whiskey. It's soft. It is floral. It has good notes in it that aren't going to overwhelm you in any way, shape, or form, and it shows balance. And those are not always that respected in the Scotch world, but for Japanese whiskeys, if that's really what you're looking for, this is a great alternative. Yes, and it's it's definitely not going to, you know... Break the bank. I mean, this is like a $40 bottle. It's not going to break anything except for your liver eventually. Random tangent. I used to be able to find that for $21 at CVS. 21 At CVS? It just makes me sad. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, Go so I'll, wanna, I'll, I'll get to these, I'll okay. do these two and you can do this. Sounds like a plan. So, and then another really, really cool note that you can get in a lot of Japanese whiskeys. Also this bottle, I should just pour it and be done with it. Just give it to um, the cameraman. <laughs> it's Glenfiddich 12. For you, buddy. Glenfiddich 12 has a little bit of floral notes to it, but it also has plenty of fruit notes, specifically stone fruit, or uh, specifically tree fruits like uh, pear and apples. Like that's what it's known for. And if you've had a lot of Japanese whiskeys, you know, a lot of them also will give you plenty of pear and apples, especially Asian pear. But like they do it in a way that's much more subtle and not quite as pronounced and forward as a Glenfiddich, which is weird to say about a 40% Glenfiddich, but that's the truth though. The Japanese whiskey, the level of subtlety is so much more than anything else that anybody else is doing. So finding that in other things, you're not going to find the perfect match. But again, these two are light enough, fruity and floral enough that you, you're getting there. You're getting a lot of the way there without spending thousands of dollars. Right. So I, I would, I would say these would be more... Like maybe Yama, yeah. Yamazaki, Habiki, whereas this guy and this one, I would compare to an alternative for Hakushu. Yeah, um, which has always been a little more smoky. Right, so this um, Irish Kanmaro peated, it's it's a very light peat. I, I let Wally pull the cork and, and, and smell it a little bit, and, and he didn't die right away, so I, <laughs> I, I figured it was in line. Um, but it's a, it's a light peat, kind of what I get from a Hakushu 12. Um, and then again, so, some floral notes on the back as well, but generally a cheaper alternative to trying to find Hakushu because yeah, I think they, they discontinued yeah. a lot of their, a lot of their, no longer a hundred bucks to find the 12. Right. Yeah. And again, I, I cried a lot about that, but <laughs> Anyway, um, a, a decent alternative to say a Hakushu 12. Absolutely. And the blend here that we've got, Johnny Walker Green. Everyone's familiar with Johnny Walker. Um, it's 
pretty... Whether you have good feelings about it or bad. Yes, uh, moving past that into the theme of the video, it's more of a, again, you get a little bit of a smoke, and also because it's a blend... You do have some more, more some, complexity. some more complexity, some subtleties to it, and I asked Wally to pull this one out of his collection just because it, it is my, I would say, my favorite of the Johnny Walkers, and I do think that it best shows how 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 good they are at blending. Yeah, and it it compares for me a little bit to the Hakushu 18, and again, isn't going to blow your bank account up right. trying to get close to that. That same Japanese high, as it were. Right. The the green is an interesting one from Johnny Walker because it's all blended malts. They didn't use any grains. So, in terms of flavor profile, imagine... So, that, to me, is the closest thing to, like, a Japanese blended malt because you've got all these mixes of flavors coming together and they're doing it in a way that's like, okay, this is balanced, this can be complex, but does it touch the same level of, like, Hibiki 21? No. No. It's not... But again, it's not close, but neither is the price point, though. We're just looking yeah. for alternatives for you guys so that you can go out and try something like it enough that you can be like, okay, it's not it's not the same experience, of course, but it's close enough that you're like, well, you know, you're not spending $1,000 on this. You're spending 60, know, 30, 7, 40, 30, 40? No, for fifty I, for that. I want one, to say I got it for like forty. I don't know. Pennsylvania is weird. It's, no. I, I'm, <laughs> All paying, over the places. I'm paying more more than that. Yeah. But again, it's we're not we're not telling you. This is the same as the Habiki 21 because right. that is far from what we're saying. Right, I'm not getting strawberries out of this. I get strawberries in Habiki 21. I, I know. I, I I've I've heard that discussion before. Let's 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 move move down the line. Right. And, and no more strawberries. This very last one. I know there's there's uh, all kinds of contention about this very last bottle on the internet. But um, so the very first time I had Bren Classic, I literally immediately thought, "Holy crap, this tastes like Yamazaki 12." And so I side by sided them, and they're not the same. See. But it's got so many fruity light flavors. They're I mean they so can much banana. They could be me. cousins. It's they could easily be cousins. Huh? Like they're know. that close. Maybe second cousins. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Second cousins twice second removed. Cousins. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's I I'd say that. <laughs> But a lot of people don't like that because mm. this is very one noted, and yes, it's not like Japanese stuff. It's very, it is very sweet. But so is Yamazaki Twelve. Right. For all the people who are like, oh, you know, it's so no, it's not. Yamazaki Twelve tastes like flowers and bubble gum. Like it tastes like akasha trees. It's not like this magic. No, you know, and this is this is banana runs. bottle. Yeah, this is banana runs. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just it, the stuff. It just doesn't. I don't know. Some of it is yes, the Japanese whiskey is good because it's different and it's better. Some of it. But some of it is like, have you even tried that? Like, Yama, when it was $60, it's fantastic. It's great. It's a great sipper. Yama at $120, $120 for a 12-year? I'm like, no. Yeah. It's not even close. So, so again, some, some alternatives here, in a lot of cases, half the price or much less a lot than less. <laughs> some of the Japanese whiskeys that are going for obscene amounts right now. Definitely not saying that those whiskeys aren't terrific. It's just that the price point in this instance has right. so far eclipsed. Yeah, your return on investment just doesn't make any sense right. anymore. Like, just the value is not there anymore. So yeah, so that's this video. Um, this this is a really weird video because I don't know, I, <laughs> sitting around and I came up with this idea because because the whole Japanese market has gone nuts and it's weird to see and it's weird to watch. Like I don't understand how Hibiki Twenty One went from three hundred and fifty dollars on the shelf. To two thousand dollars, not on the shelf anymore. This it's and it's wild to me. So looking for alternatives, I think, is a fun game. And if you guys can think of any, absolutely, um, do let us know down in the comments. Like, what have you seen that's close, or may have some of the flavor profiles that you're looking for in Japanese whiskeys in that whiskey? Or tell us you hate us for popping those great Habiki Habiki <laughs> bottles up first, that. and then coming in with these. Wasn't trying to be totally clickbaity, but at the same time, I know that it'll draw a lot of people who think that they want Japanese whiskey. But again, like if you've had, like Hawk 12 is balanced and does have that little bit of peat smoke, but I can get that from other things. Absolutely. Yama 12, I'm not joking. That is right there. Um, finding Japanese whiskeys that were so wild already that were just so mind blowing, they were already expensive. So, I mean, most of you guys, I, I don't think, I don't know, aren't dropping like 350 bucks on a bottle. Those were already expensive. So it doesn't make any sense to like, I don't know. It feels like almost like people are dreaming like, oh, it's got to be amazing because it's expensive. Just throw that in the trash 
and come back down to Earth in reality where there's plenty of good whiskey out there. Disclosure, please don't throw any hibiki in the trash. No, <laughs> throw the we'll idea the idea in the trash. Oh, no, I got you. Oh, I just wanted to yeah, throw it Absolutely. Out there for... If you're going to put it in the trash yes. can, <clears throat> my address, we're, DM me on Instagram. Slide in those DMs and we will... Slide in those and I'm at the Whiskey Watch at Scotch and Sniff. Yeah, in case you didn't know, tell us. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> tell so, yeah, us about so those hibikis. Like, comment, subscribe, mm-hmm. send us free hibikis. <laughs> cool shoes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we've got the tipping jar on Patreon if you guys want to say good job. Thanks for clickbaiting. Yes. Um, yeah. Thanks for that thumbnail showing five good bottles of hibiki on. I mean, I mean, they are delicious. We can. I mean, where's the? I mean, if we're gonna do this, let's. Here, Steve. I don't think he's ever had this, so I mean, we might as well, right? Why? Why are we joking around? It's a long pour to get to this bottle. So, there you go, hibiki twenty one. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll see how it is. I know how it is. I love it. But again, you can't spend that kind of money on that bottle anymore. It's gotten so stupid expensive. So please try these alternatives. Let us know what you think about that, about these alternatives, if you try them. Um, again, if you have better suggestions, throw them out there. I'm definitely listening. Help out everybody else in the in the community. Tell Absolutely. us, tell us what is, what's a good alternative. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I should get some whiskey. Can't just cheers for that.